The study that Seeger just released and published in the esteemed journal Lancet Gastroenterology involved a longstanding question in the field, which was how effective is that six food elimination diet? And is there a possibility of eliminating only one food, milk, which some had hypothesized was a, a driver in EOE, compared to that more extensive dietary modification? This was a question that was presented to us in conjunction pr primarily with the patient by the patient advocacy groups. So they recognized that this would potentially answer a major question and improve um, life of patients with this disease. If we could determine which diet was the most appropriate, especially if they, we could avoid the six food elimination diet, which is very hard to comply with. So we conducted this study, which was um, a primary part of the consortium of eosinophil GI disease research, particularly in the first phase of, of the grant. And this was a controlled, randomized, open-label study involving 10 sites across the United States aiming to compare the effect of the one-food milk elimination versus the six-food diet. The primary outcome was the histological emission, but importantly, we looked at a number of, of other validated endpoints related to both his more extensive histological analysis as well as endoscopic analysis and biomarkers for the disease. Our results indicated a surprising finding, which was that the one food elimination diet was equally as effective as the six food. Both of them were surprisingly lower than expected, but they were effective and the effects were often dramatic when they did occur in those patients. We also have evidence uh, for a biomarker that predicted responsiveness related to a particular type of immunoglobulin in the serum called IgG4 against milk. And there was now strong evidence that this was able to reverse um, some of the cardinal molecular and cellular features of the disease based on the extensive analysis of cellular infiltrations and also histological changes, as well as endoscopic and molecular findings.